Okay, uh, I guess I'm going to start. There's only three of us here, but all right. So I saw, um, I saw Niha trying to join, but and then it, she went off. Go ahead. I said I saw Niha. I'm sorry. Say again, to... please. I didn't. I didn't get. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see Sage. I see. I, I assume that's Sage. It's really pixelated, but it's in a room with a lot of plants. <laughs> Well, let me let me turn off uh, Netflix. That might make it a little bit better. I'll be right back. No, that didn't do it. Anyway, uh, what was it you were saying, Sage? I was just saying hello. Oh, hi. It wasn't your voice that, that <laughs> was I heard. I Uh, all right. Okay. Well, we're got to the office. Okay. Okay. I'll just wait then. Start. What time is it there, Zach? Got to be late, right? Yes. I'm sorry, Sage. What was that? What time is it there? Got to be late, right? Yeah, it's 3.30 in the morning. All right. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. No worries. Oh. All right. Do start. Zach's having bandwidth issues. Okay. Nothing from him. Oh, should we just start going over some of the things he already has? Or... So yeah, the first thing I put in there was the hardware recommendation uh, pull request that um, Mark created. So I think that needs review. That was one of the uh, older action items as well. So maybe with this PR, we can try to also accommodate other things that we want to change here. Okay. This... Yeah, I think it looks okay.
so uh okay so that just needs review and the next item is Spring's issues update um i don't know what zach had in mind but brad had emailed this uh to some of us but this is the template he's trying to we're trying to get back to the original nature template and he's gone and modified some stuff to get back to this. I think there's one more suggestion, I think color suggestions that Ifu had uh, given. Other yeah. than that, I think this is almost what is final, I think. Does this look fine, Sage? Looks okay to me, yep. Yeah, I think he was just changing that from like that aqua color to a gray color. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. I think it'll look better too. Yeah. yeah, I think that yeah. the only other main difference I noticed between this and the old one is that the old one um, goes all the way to the right edge of your browser, even though the text stays on the left. And yeah. this one has like that gray, empty gray area. Yeah. I don't particularly care either way, so I think it's fine. This somehow looks neater to me. Um, just if, the, if you get the colors, it'll be perfect. Yeah, 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 just the heading. Styles, I think, fixed it. <laughs> fixed yeah, it. yeah. So, anyway, cool. Okay. okay. I think Zach, you're back in. Um, can you try talking? Your call details still look really bad. Yep. All right. So let's let's keep going. Uh, doc bug updates. I think um, with respect to this. Uh, Zach has been uh, numbering all the doc bugs that we got in the etherpad, and he's been trying to fix them, referencing, cross-referencing each other. So let me try to see if I can pull up that. All right. It's numbered in terms of in the pad or like other tickets? In the, in the pad, in the pad, I'll just paste the link. Then he's also adding the pull request that he's creating. To address those, right. so it's your, it's your. Cool. Yeah, some of them are already reviewed and just need to merge, but there's good progress going on here. <laughs> okay. Uh, next. Is the hardware recommendations? I think it's uh, best. So we received, I think, two PRs and one minor PR with respect to hardware recommendations. But I think Mark's PR is the place where we should probably consolidate everything and uh, put all the thoughts in. Yeah. So if that was the thing, uh, Zach, I think that is the best way to go, and that's why I added that PR there. Uh, Okay, what is agreed? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Then we can move on to the next topic, which is landing page slash getting started guide initiative. I want to get this done by the end of this year, which sounds good. Um, so I guess it's just uh, I don't know what Zach has in mind, but it's just a matter of going and looking at it and stripping some things out and adding some things in a more structured way. I know Patrick had a suggestion where we wanted to put in a picture, um, an intuitive picture there, so maybe we can finalize on that picture at least. Yep. If I'm just understanding the scope of this, the getting started is basically the installation with Seth Demon, right? Yeah, so the, there's landing, there's a landing page slash getting started. So getting started bit, I think Zach has already started working on and we've reviewed it. Okay. I think it's merged as well, but we need to add the getting started to the landing page, which makes sense. Yeah, okay. Is that right? Uh, so I think Zach, in the, with this respect, uh, maybe you can send out a proposal of what you are thinking, and then okay. we can just, you know, in the form of a PR email, whatever uh, you feel like, and then we can uh, decide what needs to go there. Uh, okay. Then there is PG repair is blank. 
yes so this pg repair blank i think i already spoke uh, to david about it and that you can contact david to actually uh, uh, figure out what needs to go in there and i think i also send you a link with some of the information that's present so that shouldn't be a big problem got it okay okay and then finally uh, we have need to transition to python 3 for sphinx doc build yeah this is um this might not matter immediately um but we're switching to python 3 for everything else um at some point things needs to be updated and the tool chain that actually generates the page i think mm -hmm. when we actually merge the stuff the big pull request is going to change the um uh the version that is packaged and all the python modules uh in that the manager uses and all that stuff i don't think it's going to break the docs but i think mm -hmm. it'll be okay um but at some point we'll need to do that also so anyway okay make sure okay people are aware that it yeah I don't yeah, think it'll yeah. Be okay. yeah okay, okay. So, okay, that covers all the six topics. Then there's some old business, which uh, I don't know. Do we want to go over the old business right away, or should we? I think we might want uh, Zach to be able to talk for covering some of that. Oh, it's I know. Sorry, I know what it was. I know what the Python issue was. It, it's that the um, okay. some of the docs are generated from the Python code. I think it's like the it's not Java doc, but it's whatever the equivalent is, and that code is transitioning to python 3 and so the python 2 docs for the i think okay. i think that's what it is the like lib pyratos or whatever okay. it is i think that's going to break basically at some point so okay we could probably tolerate that on master it'll be fine um and then just fix it up after we make the merge but yeah. okay all right sorry yeah, no worries. That makes sense. Uh, let's see, installing blue jeans on my iPhone right now. Okay. Cool. Uh, so let me just quickly go over the old business. So there's this OS recommendation. That's a full topic on its own, I think. Just like the hardware recommendations, PR from Mark, we need to go and figure this out. But I think Zach had sent out an email regarding this at some point. I don't know. But I, as far as I can remember, we decided that something that we are testing with, uh, we should clearly mention is something that we, whatever, support is the word or whatever is the word, but we should just clearly mention what are the um, operating systems that we test with. Uh, and yeah, you know, rest. We yeah, can that just used say. to be somewhere. I can't remember. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Finally, I had to install it on my iPhone. I'm so sorry, everybody. I could no only worries. hear uh, bits of what you guys were talking about. Um, I have a lot of notes on uh, the the um, PG repair page. I watched this. Uh, excuse me. I watched this video uh, that Florian Haas made called. Uh, Stuff Tech Talks placement groups from 2015, and I think it contains everything that you'd need to uh, diagnose uh, broken placement groups and then get them running again. But I'd like to talk to somebody who knows placement groups really well and uh, run it past them. So I'd like to make a meeting for that. I'm sorry for just barging in uh, like this. But that that's the main thing that I want to do. Everything else seems OK. I'm going to have to talk to somebody about networking stuff. Um, later on because three three of the bugs I think involve network architecture and each of the bugs is more of a there's not a simple uh, diagnosis and then application of a cure for those bugs there's just like a how how do networks work it's a it's a more inchoate question so that's it um, placement groups and network stuff those are the next two things for me so if you want to set up a meeting for the placement group stuff, I can um, I can help with that. So some people from my team and me can do that. For the networking okay. stuff, I'm, 
I don't know, it has to be some of us again. Um, and how, uh, when, when I need to uh, ask everybody for, like, a, sometimes I want to have a meeting so that I can get my dumb questions answered before I ask them, you know, more widely. I don't want to bark up the wrong tree. How can I do that? I need to know how to do that. Can I just email go you? IRC. Yeah, you can go through me. Email IRC okay. wherever, whatever works for you. Okay, cool. So I'm sorry I missed the first half of the meeting. Um, what, what did you guys talk about? So I think Sage has left notes on all the action items that were there in the Etherpad that you had added. And then there's some discussion in the chat here. Okay. We had a really, really big storm last night, and so apparently our internet's not working because Australia doesn't waterproof its um, infrastructure. Let's see. Okay, expect a PR later today. Um, okay. All right, uh, a PR later today, Docs Books update, seminar rename of Seth Damon. All right, so when Seth Damon is renamed, then everywhere in the docs where Seth Damon appears and where um, manager SSH appears will have to be changed to Seth ADM. Is that that's yeah. correct, yeah? I'll, I'll try okay. to get it. I'm going to do a big one huge pull request that changes everything. I'll try to get the docs too, but um, just be aware if I, in case I missed something. All right. Are you going to do just like a, a, a grep and replace or a, like an uh, um, set? I'll start with that, but there's going to be some other changes necessary too. So. Yeah. yeah, that's what I figured. There's going to be a lot of places. Um, so you need to transition to Python 3 for the Sphinx doc build. Uh, okay, uh, tell me about that. What's It's, it's what's coming what? in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll, things will be mostly fine, except that the doc generation for the Python code is going to break. Um, so when that happens, when we merge that pull request, then we'll just have to fix, change the, the, whatever, the doc stuff too. Probably means just changing yeah. the script that runs the virtual and for whatever for things. I don't know. You should just expect that. Okay. Um, I also have a, I asked Sage about a week ago if he could add me to, um, to the Seth slash Seth GitHub, or if you could subscribe me to it, and he did. So now my inbox is full of, I guess, what you guys see all the time which is way more than I thought it was. Um, I would like also uh, to be able, I, I don't know how to do this culturally, so this is what I'm asking. Um, there was a, a, a post or a PR made 14 days ago by JT Layton, which describes basic client setup, which is exactly what I was, I was doing the same thing at about the same time. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I, it's, it's not a very complicated, uh, a pull request. It just says um, it, it, it just says that the key ring is generated and the configuration file is generated, and it, it gives a basic explanation of it. I think it's a, it's a very good pull request. I also think that it sounds conversational. It sounds more like an email than it sounds like documentation. Um, and so, what I would like to do, and what I think would be um, especially useful, is if after after docs pull requests like that, I could then after maybe a couple of days go through and alter them, taking out phrasal verbs and anything that seems um, uh, sometimes culturally specific expressions are used when you mm -hmm. can use a Latinate. So uh, I intend to do that. That's on my list of stuff to do. I just saw that if, uh, about an hour ago. But so it's, it's it probably all, easiest. Uh, it's probably easiest just to merge it and then patch apply a patch on top of that that makes whatever changes yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely will okay. i mean I, te technically i'm not worried about it it's just um culturally i would like to uh 
I'd like for that to be okay. Like, I, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm telling them they can't write or, you know, that, that this was that's not fine. a good contribution. Yeah. And so that, yeah. that's one thing. And the other thing is um, I would like to be able to uh, request information. I, 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 need a, I need like a social map of who to ask for what. Because right now I'm mostly okay. just asking Brad. I mean, Brad can send you to the right person. Um, I don't know if there's a good. Uh, just just reach out to us. I mean, the, uh, yeah. just reach out to us, and uh, one of us will know whom to redirect you to. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Then I'll, I'll probably do that a fair amount because I don't understand the networking stuff at all, and um, and I also want to talk to somebody about placement groups, and that's. That's pretty much what I've got right now. Uh, we'll finish with the docs bugs. I don't. Why see don't we do one thing uh, for the placement group stuff? I can set up a meeting with whomever is required for that. Uh, for the networking stuff, you said there were three items on your list. Can you send me which three items you have, and then I can figure out who's the best person to answer your questions. Yes, I can. It's um yeah. I, I'll I'll just. It's a, a ten eleven. And maybe it's just 10 and 11. Yeah, it might just be 10 and 11 on there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we only have a couple more of these docs bugs left in this list, and and then those are done. But I would also like I'm I'm happy to, to continue doing it this way. Um, I would like it if people could could feel that they could raise docs bugs and then. Uh, get some sort of response rapidly. I mean, I, I think that this is more important than me just making like progress on one thing or another is to to create an institution where people can, they can raise a complaint against the docs with me and then I can respond to it quickly. I'd like to do that. I don't know how to start that other than just to express that that's what I wanna do. Okay, sorry. I guess that the idea of the edit on GitHub and reporter documentation bug on the Ceph Docs page uh, was just because we wanted to address the same problem. If somebody saw something wrong, they could just immediately tell us. Uh, now, the only issue that I'm seeing with this is that the edit on GitHub has a problem of the signed off by, which I think maybe Patrick is trying to address. Uh, but the other part where reporter documentation bug uh, mechanism uh, has been set up the way it is that you either can add uh, a board in the Trello documentation board or you have to go and edit this uh, or like write something in this pad. Now these are two options which should work for literally everybody but people still don't find it intuitive or easy enough to just go say okay maybe we can yeah. just remove this Trello board and just have this other pad that we go and poll for um, and yeah, see if there's something new. But... Or, I mean, people, I, I'll, I'll do the admin work on it. If people just want to email, that's fine. I'll do the admin work and make it into a nice, clean, like, make the, the complaint as articulate as I possibly can before putting it into the, the list or whatever. But I, I, I just want the cost of raising a bug to be almost zero, as close to zero as possible. Um, right. Because I, yeah, so that that's... It's it's not a super thing, but it's an institution that is needed. So I have to say, I've we've, since the time we've set up this this whole framework of uh, reporter documentation bug, uh, literally only people who are part of the Ceph group have gone and added a Trello uh, board to report a bug, and not many yep. uh, regular users do that. So we can just get rid of the whole Trello thing and just have this etherpad, which could have your email okay. address and and the same mechanism of what what the bug is and where the bug is. And then you go okay. call for it every once in a while. That's fine. I guess then it's just a matter of priming the pump and getting people yeah. used to doing it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. If there if there are other ideas, I, I, I'm, I'd be happy to incorporate those it's just the whole, whole thing needs to be easy uh, there is a way to do it in the tracker uh, redmine based tracker where you have a documentation component but it's just like going through too much pain to just yeah. report like yeah. a small thing yeah 
I, I, I agree. I, I yeah. want it to feel I'll like the drop. The I just have one comment on this topic. Uh, another possibility is a, an email list that um, doesn't have any restrictions on who can send to it, and that would be like a doc bug list, and someone can just write up a quick email. I think this can be improved. That would be great. And then it would just be that, monitored by the set developers. Yeah, that that would be that would be fine with me. I'm I'm perfectly happy with more than one channel existing, and then all of them coming to me, and then I have to collate them. That's fine with me too. Just I I would like to I'd like to know what the pain points are, what people want to want to see improved, mm -hmm. and I also want there to be an institution that responds quickly to people's complaints like within a day you get an email back saying understood um, here's what we're doing about it so yeah I don't I don't know who to talk to about that but I, I mean the best way to go best way to go forward in my mind is just send an email again to Ceph users and Ceph Devel and just say that this is the mechanism we have currently we still think this can be improved what would help and then you can do like a poll or like something like a, a doc email or mailing list or just using one etherpad or whatever new other ideas people might have. All right. I'm trying to decide would it be an okay idea to send like an email every week saying this thing exists just to remind people almost like an advertisement. Anyway, okay, I'm just thinking out loud. The other uh, I mean, uh, the, the fact that the, if you go to any docs page, there is this red bold letter saying that, okay, report a documentation bug, I think is enough. If we can streamline that even further and say that, okay, this is just one line thing that you need to do to report it, uh, it might be even better. Sure, I, I agree. Now it's just, it's just convoluted, but when, when there are two ways you can go to the projects or you can go to the etherpad it's again complicated maybe just one thing and just do that that's it sure yeah okay um we did yeah you guys talked about the sphinx issues i think uh we talked about i'm doing placement group stuff right now where is it PR, PG repair. Okay, uh, the, the the last thing, and I know we're running over. I'm sorry about that. Uh, the landing page, the getting getting the landing page and the getting started page together. Um, I don't want to move unilaterally on that. I want to talk to a couple of people and and then uh, like you guys and whoever else wants to talk about it. So I'd like to set up a meeting about that and then create a pull request and just be done with that. Get that item off the list. So uh, when is good for you guys, I guess, is what I'm asking. Let me just set up something. I'll look at everybody's calendar and set up something for, you want it this week or next? Uh, let's let's make it next week so that I can finish these, uh, these, these docs bugs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can do it during uh, your time of day. I'm fine with this. This is totally okay. I, it, more people would probably be willing to show up anyway. So this is cool. You can do it in the middle of my night. I'm fine with that. Okay. Cool. I'll set something up. All right. Thank you. Problem? Um, that's it for me. I guess I'm using my iPhone from now on. I, I hate using Apple stuff, but it is reliable. I don't know. My Blue Jeans app just didn't work today. I was trying to join the call from my phone uh, while I was still reaching office. It didn't work, so I can't say that. But well, it works. Well, I, I, we we had a terrible, terrible storm here, like a a loud, loud storm. I was asleep and I woke up because it was so loud. And they don't waterproof any of their uh, internet infrastructure here. It's just left out in the sun. Just Cat five cables bare on the sides of walls. And so I'm I'm getting like 65k uh, downstream right now through my home network connection, which is why my video is so bad. So I'm on 4G right now. I on on my iPhone. I know that that's going to be irrelevant when the recording of this is made, but it's that's Australia. 
Anyway. Okay. Right, I, think I don't have anything else. So you're all yeah, good okay. then. I don't. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I just want to talk about uh, placement groups. That's all. Later. Yeah. Right I'll, I just realized that David is also on the call. So he's one of the person I want to talk yeah, to. So exactly. I'll say something. Up. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. See you all later. All right. All right. Thanks. See you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye.